Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the end of day's European trading session for Monday, the 10th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the uh, Google app uh, and the uh, well, certainly download the Trade Signal app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, numbers for today, end of day session, FTSE up 20 points in, in the end. Up 7.370. It did actually fall uh, down to 7.340 at one point, certainly under pressure due to the weaker data, which I mentioned this morning with regards to the BDO. Uh, investment certainly declining and obviously uh, consumer confidence certainly declining as well uh, and consumer strength. Now, in terms of the market itself, uh, the FTSE certainly remains under pressure due to Brexit uncertainty, especially a warning from the German uh, board as well in terms of their investments going forward in the into the UK. Uh, in terms of uh, European markets, they certainly did uh, fare well given the uh, stronger German data this morning. Uh, German exports, imports certainly stronger than expected. So the German DAX finished up 50 points, the French CAC up 20 points, the FTSE MIB uh, up an impressive 175, up 0.8%, the strongest out of all the uh, European currencies. Okay, so Economic data-wise on the U.S. front, certainly very uh, light. Uh, labor market conditions certainly came in on the weaker side. Uh, consumer credit, no, no real importance. Uh, I think the other economic data point that came out was a conference, Board of Employment as well, that was on the weaker side. But nevertheless, Miss uh, Yellen certainly has her ammunition with regards to uh, raising rates, and uh, it certainly seems like that's going to be the... Uh, the uh, the wing which the market has embraced and uh, as you can see here uh, the market itself has uh, pushed high on the back of US equities pushing higher and Asian equities pushing higher overnight as well how long that lasts again that's a different question altogether let's look at where the uh, German DAX is so the German DAX traded sideways even when strong German exports and German trade balance still we will we fail to really break higher it's not exactly a bullish sign to bear that in mind okay uh, daily charts certainly trading sideways 10 minute chart again the high was rejected okay so no new higher high uh, registered at all <clears throat> if anything this certainly seems like it wants to trade and close the gap below unfilled gap left open at 12.390 so certainly bear that in mind in terms of the german dax so certainly trading weaker from my perspective french cac more or less the same trading sideways and daily chart 60 minute chart again no real thrust higher at all. We weren't able to even test the uh, 5200 level, let alone anything else. We did manage to close the gap, though. The gap was closed eventually at uh, 5180. We bounced from 5150, so the gap certainly was closed. We certainly are looking to target the gap below now if we are going to see weakness, okay? If we see strength, then again, we are looking to test that 5200 zone, okay? In terms of the French cap. Moving on to the Euro stocks now. Actually, let's look at the FTSE, sorry. Okay, so the FTSE 100 certainly had a last-minute thrust uh, daily chart, <clears throat> certainly holding that key resistance, that 7.385. Okay, 60-minute chart here. Uh, again, still holding previous support equals resistance. For now, we're just basically relying on resistance, okay? So previous support equals resistance and resistance. So you have multiple zones of resistance. We're holding that pivot high of the day at 7.385, and that certainly seems to be the resistance zone for now. Moving on to the 10-minute chart on the FTSE, certainly held intraday double top, so we'll use that for now. Okay, so intraday double top certainly held, horizontal resistance held at 7.386, okay. Uh, in terms of support on the downside, you're looking at support around the 7.340 zone, and then you have support around the 7.335 zone, okay, on the FTSE 100. Moving on to the Euro stocks now. Okay, daily chart still holding gap fill, still holding that bottoming tail as well. 60 minute chart held double bottom. Okay, and that certainly seems to be the key, the double bottom so far. 10 minute chart certainly did thrust higher towards the close, which is quite strange given the fact that we were weak all day. Having said that, we do have an unfilled gap below now, so just be wary of that. You have resistance up here at uh, 3480, 3490. Okay, and we'll see whether or not the market can hold. Okay, for now we're sort of trading sideways. If anything, it all depends on how U.S. markets react. U.S. equities are into resistance, so we'll see how they uh, certainly respond. Okay, I think that's a good summation of European indices. Really, I think we are now coming into potential resistance, and it was more of a sideways, like slightly higher day. Whether or not we can obviously maintain those gains is a different question altogether. Euro USD are, is back above that 1.14 level, so again, that will certainly exert further pressure on the uh, the actual European equities, given the fact that Euro is at such lofty heights. 
and is actually hurting the export sector okay also with regards to sterling sterling certainly pushed uh, off and certainly is building some some type of base there on the 15 minute chart so watch out 1.1260 certainly if that base is held then you are looking to thrust higher which in turn will obviously hurt the FTSE 100 as well okay i think that's a good summation be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now